Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain the behavior of electric dipole in non-uniform electric field. Now, you might have studied the behavior of electric dipole in uniform electric field, wherein if you have a dipole, say this is a dipole, this is a negative charge, this is a positive charge, separated by a small distance uh, twice A and it is placed in some uniform electric field. So, elect uniform electric field is uh, represented by parallel equally spaced lines. So, electric field it is directed in this direction. So, uniform electric field means everywhere the value of electric field is same. So, this positive charge is under the influence of electric field of strength E. This negative charge is also under the influence of electric field of strength E. Now, this positive charge will experience a force in the direction of electric field. The negative charge will experience a force opposite to the direction of electric field. So, the net force on this dipole will be 0. This force is, if the strength of the electric field is E, charge is Q. So, this force will be QE. This force will also be QE. And this is a negative charge, so minus QE. So, the total force will be QE plus minus QE. that is equal to 0. So, basically if a dipole it is placed in uniform electric field, the net force on the dipole will always be 0. But what happens if the dipole is placed in non-uniform electric field? Now, let us consider two cases. Case 1, you have dipole. So, this is a negative charge. This is a positive charge. So, this is the direction of the dipole movement. Dipole movement as we know it is always directed from negative charge to positive charge. Now, suppose this is the direction of the external electric field. This is the direction of the external electric field and it is increasing in this direction. It is increasing. Okay. That means electric field at the site of this positive charge E positive suppose electric value this is the value of electric field at the site of positive charge in this region and E similarly E minus is the value of electric field at the site of this negative charge ok. Now, the magnet if electric field is increasing in this direction that means the magnitude of magnitude of this E plus will be greater than the magnitude of E minus. E minus means electric field at the site of this charge. Okay. So, that means, see, now this positive charge will experience a force in this direction. Okay. So, this is Q E plus in this direction. Positive charge will experience a force in the direction of electric field. This negative charge will experience a force in the opposite direction. So, minus Q. E minus. Now, obviously, since the see the magnitude of this electric field at this particular position is greater than this region, so that means this force will be greater than this force. So that means this dipole will experience a force in this direction. So this is the direction of the net force. Okay. So this net force, net force. in the direction direction of increasing field field is increasing in this direction so net force is also in this direction okay so this is one case okay now in this case dipole moment and electric field they were in the same direction dipole moment in this direction electric field is also in this direction next second case let us consider the case wherein both are in opposite direction. So, you have a positive charge, a negative charge, this is the dipole moment. Now, electric field it is in opposite direction. Okay, And suppose it is increasing in this direction. Okay. Uh, 
increasing. Now, that means electric field at the site of this charge, E minus is the value of electric field at the site of this charge and E plus is the electric field at the site of this charge, positive charge. So, since electric field intensity is, it is increasing in this direction, electric field in this region will be stronger than electric field in this region, isn't it? So, now this negative charge, it will experience a force in this direction, minus Q, E minus, this positive charge will experience a force in the direction of electric field, so this is plus Q E plus it is in this direction. Now, since the value of electric field, it is in this region, it is stronger than the electric field in this region. That means the force on this charge in this direction will be greater than the force on this charge, positive charge in this direction. So, that means the net force will be in this direction. So, this is the direction of the net force on the dipole. Okay, so in this case, the dipole will experience a force in the direction of decreasing field. So, as you can see, when in the two cases, this case and the second case, see uh, this force experienced on the dipole, it depends on the orientation of the dipole. In this case, the dipole moment is in the direction of the electric field and in which the electric field is increasing, the force is also in the direction of increasing field. In the second case, the dipole moment is opposite to the direction of the increasing field and the net force is in the direction of the dipole moment or in the direction in which the field is decreasing. So based on our observation, let us write the expression for force experienced by the electric dipole in non-uniform electric field. Now this is the dipole, this is the dipole moment directed from negative charge to positive charge. Electric field, it is increasing in this direction. So now if uh, dE by dR represents the change in electric field per unit distance and uh, P represents the electric dipole moment, then force on the dipole is the product of these two quantities. So force is P times dE by dr, P times dE by dr. Now if the electric field it is varying along x axis, so this will be P times dE by dx. If electric field is varying along y axis, F is equal to P times dE by dy. If electric field is varying along z axis or z axis, F is equal to P times d by dz okay now based on this let us solve a question from the ncrt textbook so let us try to solve this question this is question number 1.27 from the chapter electric charges and fields page number 49 the question reads in a certain region of space electric field is along z direction throughout the magnetic field the magnitude of electric field is however not constant but increases uniformly along the positive z direction at the rate of 10 power 5 newton per coulomb per meter what are the force and torque experienced by system having a total dipole moment equal to 10 power minus 7 coulomb meter in negative z direction or z direction so basically see in this case the electric field is not uniform electric field it is directed in this direction suppose this is the positive z axis and this is the negative z axis okay so this is the positive z axis this is the negative z axis and uh, the question what the does the question says that the field is directed along positive z axis and uh, uh, the variation in field is 10 power 5 newton per coulomb per meter so that is de by dz is equal to 10 power 5 newton per coulomb per meter 
so this is the variation in electric field along z axis and the dipole dipole moment dipole moment is 10 power minus 7 coulomb per meter okay and it is directed along uh, it is uh, directed along negative z direction coulomb meter in the negative z direction okay so as i told you forces p times d by dz so that is 10 power minus 7 coulomb meter multiplied by 10 power 5 newton per coulomb meter so this meter gone meter gone coulomb gone coulomb gone this is 10 power minus 2 newton so this is the force okay now in this case see electric field it is increasing in this direction dipole moment it is in this direction dipole moment is in the opposite direction this is the direction of the electric field and it is increasing in this direction correct so dipole moment basically it is in this direction that means this side you have a negative charge this side you have a positive charge okay so the negative charge will experience a force in this direction opposite to the electric field positive charge will experience a force in the direction of electric field so that means the net force will be in this direction so the net force net force will be in the negative negative z direction and since the force is acting along the dipole along the dipole the total torque on the dipole total torque on the dipole will be zero so this is the solution to question number 1.27 which requires a different approach because this thing is not discussed because in the textbook they have discussed the everything regarding the behavior of dipole in uh, uniform electric field we are calculating the expression for torque we are calculating the expression for potential energy stable equilibrium unstable equilibrium period of oscillation everything but behavior of the dipole it just the theory is given but they have asked a question based on that theory so this is how you have to solve this question